Principles of Bioproduct Separation, Module 2, Filtration and Microfiltration, Segment 1. With me, Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology Institute, Technology Bandung. Filtration separates solid from a liquid by forcing the liquid through a solid support or filter medium. Small size and deformability of microorganisms make conventional filtration of fermentation beers or other biological solids more complicated and too slow to be practical. Therefore, there are two main goals in this module. First, we are going to discuss in simple terms how conventional filtration is accomplished. Second, we have to understand how procedures for conventional filtration are modified for bioseparation, which center on the properties of the cake of solid which accumulates on the filter medium. For instance, by using filter read or rapid cross flow across the surface of the filter medium. In this module, we will discuss about equipment for conventional filtration, pretreatment, general theory for filtration, continuous rotary filters, laboratory test, and microfiltration. At the end of this module, students will be assigned to do several exercises to determine specific cake resistance and medium resistance, determine filtration time for conventional filtration, predict number of frames needed for a plate and frame press, determine filtration time per cycle and washing time for a continuous rotary filter. Equipment for conventional filtration varies widely but can be categorized into small scale and large scale application. Four common types of small filters are plate and frame press, horizontal plate, vertical leaf and candle type that are labor intensive. Plate and frame press contains cork metal septa and a recessed cake space. This filter is used where a relatively dry cake discharge is desired. It should not be used where there are toxic fumes or biohazards. The other three filters are enclosed, hence can be used with aerosols or biohazards. Horizontal plate. Filtration occurs only from the top of each plate so that even with intermittent operation, the deposited cake remains in place. The filter leaf assembly can be cleaned and the filter medium is added outside of the filter housing. Vertical leaf requires only a small floor area but must have sufficient headroom for removal of the leaves and the cake. It has a relatively high filtration area per volume. Candle type. The tubes on the filter can be suspended from a tube sheet. Filter cake is formed on the external surface of the tubes and filtrate flows through the deposited cake into head for discharge. The tubes can be cleaned by backwashing. Rotary vacuum filters are commonly used whenever the solids are difficult to filter. This filter is used extensively for large-scale commercial operations because they are often automated and has a lower labor cost. The design for rotary filters varies but generally includes a rotating drum. Pressure outside the drum is atmospheric but pressure inside the drum is partially vacuum. The drum is partially submerged in beer and rotates at a low speed during the operation. Liquid is sucked through the filter cloth and solids are retained on the surface of the drum forming a cake. When the cake rotates out of the beer, it is washed, dried and removed. It is the shape of solid removal which varies most widely. A simple knife supplemented by an air blow back through the filter medium. Second string discharge also assisted by the release of vacuum and a small blow back. Third, a continuous bulk discharge where filter medium moves around a series of rolls. Fourth, continuous rotary vacuum pre-coat filter. Pre-coating is the application of a filter rate such as perlite or silite or other inert micropores material to the filter medium. This layer is often thick. As the drum rotates, a thin layer of biomass and filter rate accumulates on the surface of the precoat and continues to build during the cake formation of the cycle. The cake is washed and dewatered and then slowly advancing blades shaves off a thin layer accumulated biomass exposing a fresh surface of precoat for the next cycle. For the next segment, we will discuss about pre-treatment of filtration. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.